Hey, what's up guys? A Jamaican student dies in the USA. Mm-hmm. Twins, 21-year-old students of the University of the West Indies Mona, Megan and Morgan Canigan, traveled overseas on a work and travel program. They were due back on the island on Sunday, September 12th. However, their mother, Shamalin, a resident of Liberty All Saint Anne, received one of the most disturbing calls of her life about 4 a.m. on August 29. She said she was told that Morgan was gravely ill and was dying. Shamalin said, and I quote, to get a call like that, that your daughter is not well, and she is not going to make it was heartbreaking when i waved goodbye to my daughters in june the last thing that i expected was that one of them would not return home end quote megan said that she and her sister were in an apartment that they share in virginia usa when their world turned upside down she said and i quote morgan started feeling a bit dizzy she got a seizure in the morning she got a seizure and then we called 911 and went to the hospital. There, we found out that she was very sick and ultimately found out that she had a brain tumor and it ultimately cut the circulation of blood flow to her brain and that caused brain dead. End quote. Morgan said that Megan had no known pre-existing medical condition and that it was a roller coaster of emotions. Morgan and Megan were students at the University of the West Indies studying a bachelor's degree in marketing. They were due to start final year this month. However, rattled by the untimely death of her sister, Megan, who is still overseas, has decided to sit out this semester. She, however, plans to complete her degree, which she said will be dedicated to Morgan. Megan said, and I quote, we had plans to do literally everything together. I am going to push even harder for her because we always had big dreams of doing a lot, accomplishing a lot, and I know she wouldn't want me to stop pushing. My sister was full of life. She was very jovial. She loved to make people laugh and have a good time. She doesn't like when people are sad around her. She's loving and caring and has a huge heart. End quote. Shamalin said that she will remember her daughter as a God-fearing and family-oriented girl who was always full of life. The grieving mother said that she is unsure how she will recover from Morgan's sudden death. She said that her main goal right now is to raise enough money to get her daughter's body shipped home so she can bury her. Shamalin said again and I quote, we are trying to reach a goal of US 15,000, that is approximately Jamaican 2.2 million, so we can get the body down. I just need to get her back. If anyone wants to help, please just give from the heart, as it could be your child too. Just to make things a little easier so our body can come down and be buried near our family. End quote. 